Hello friends, Sarah Gaston here. Listen, today I want to talk to you about the essential questions that you have got to ask for every darn script you work on. I can't emphasize this enough. This is something that I always take actors through when I'm working with them one-on-one, -on -one, whether it's a monologue, uh, one scene for an audition or a full length script. And it's something that no matter how many times I say it, there's still people who somehow think they're just gonna get around doing this work. And I wanna talk to you about why that is no bueno. Because these essential questions set up a world for our characters to occupy. Now, I do have individual videos for each of these, but I wanna just talk about you, talk to you, <laughs> talk about you. I want to talk about you. I just wanna to talk to you about this real quick um, and just go through them again, just to remind you. So the first thing that you want to ask is who am I? Okay, so understand who the character is, their worldviews, their, their background, um, the situation and life circumstances they find themselves in. Second question is where am I? Okay, where are you? Geography determines a lot about our behavior. The next question is who am I talking to? And in tandem with that is what is our relationship? You've got to be crystal clear about who you're talking to and how you feel about them. Just a reminder, a relationship is not a label. It's the quality of the interaction. And yes, we have a relationship with strangers as soon as they become part of our world view. Believe me, when that cop pulls me over for speeding, I have a relationship with him or her. Then we've got to ask ourselves, what do I want from the other person and how am I going to get it? So. A scene is never in a film, a television show, or a stage play if it doesn't further the action and the story. And it's crucial to know why these characters are together and what they're trying to get from one another because believe you me, otherwise that scene would not exist. So if we go in not understanding what we want from the other person and how we're going to get it, we are dead in the water, my friends. I will not pay $12.93 to watch a bunch of people wandering around talking and saying their lines in an interesting manner if they don't want something from the other people that live in their world. Then we wanna ask, what is my moment before? All right, we always have to be crystal clear, not crystal clear, crystal clear about what just happened what was just said or done just prior to the scene occurring? Are these people in the middle of an argument? Did somebody just come home from a terrible day at work? Did somebody just, you know, nearly miss getting shot by some sort of, you know, space ray gun, right? But it matters because if we don't do that, there's just going to be zero juice to the scene, right? We don't come from a vacuum and go back to a vacuum in our day-to-day -day lives, so why would our characters? Last but certainly not least is my moment after. I have come to think of the moment after as the afterglow of expectation. And this is what I mean by that. Whenever we have an interaction with someone, we leave with an expectation. Either we've gotten what we needed or wanted, or we didn't. And we're always waiting to see what's next. If your character at the end of a scene is not waiting for what's next and thinking about it and plotting it and planning for it, then we will see absolutely no gears turning and you will have an actor awkwardly standing there with what I call dead shark eyes, you know, looking uh, at their, you know, focal point thinking, well, I've stopped talking, dummy, don't you know that the scene is over? Let me tell you, especially in film and television, so much of our shots are about people thinking, internalizing, processing, planning, plotting, etc. It's not about talking. So you have got to get comfortable with the silent, quiet moments and know what to do with them mentally so that we can see it on your face. All right, that was just a down and dirty rundown of those, but they're all essential. You've got to do them every single time. And as I've said, I have individual videos on each of these bullet points. Okay, friends, I hope this was helpful. If I were you, I'd watch this video over and over again get it implanted into your brain because believe you me, if you can get real clear about all these items, your job as an actor is going to be infinitely easier, I promise. Okay, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please share with your friends. Please like and subscribe us on YouTube because 
often there are things that will drop on YouTube that I don't necessarily advertise, but there's a lot of great content and you'll be the first to hear about it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel. And best of all, I would recommend that you subscribe to my email list because there are items that I include on my email list that I don't include anywhere else, including information on upcoming auditions, tricks and tips that I don't necessarily make a video about, uh, relevant news articles about what's happening in the future and present of our industry, etc., etc., etc. Extra points if you get the reference. As always, my friends, stay safe and break a leg out there.